common Joe and common Sally in the know, even more so than all those media talking heads. And it's almost here. Hell's bells break out the beer. Will Georgia finally overcome their fears, those fears that they've had of Alabama? Dancing in their head ever since the epic blowout and the blackout game back in like 2000 and what was it? 2008. Ever since that day when Georgia was ranked so much higher than Alabama, favored over Alabama, it has become an ongoing thing with Georgia that this that one boogeyman, that one Jason Voorhees of the SEC for those Georgia Bulldogs, and that is the Alabama Crimson Tide. Lest us not forget, the last time Alabama, ironically, was a underdog, they were an underdog to Georgia, on the road in Athens, 2015. Just coming off a loss to Ole Miss. Everybody counting Alabama out. This is going to be a blowout game. This is Mark Rick's time. Finally, finally the Georgia Bulldogs are going to get their just due. Uh -uh. <laughs> that didn't happen. They broke out the beers, but they didn't get any celebration. <laughs> they lost that game. Not only did they lose it, and they were supposed to possibly blow Alabama out, end up 38-10. to 10. Fast forward to now. You say, oh, that's a long time ago. Yeah, well, not really, but it was a few years back. I'll grant you that. But now you have Stetson Bennett and the Georgia Bulldogs once again, in the role of the favored, the line that is supposed to devour the antelope. Alabama is supposed to just be a sacrificial antelope. But I don't know. I don't know. I think Georgia fans are getting scared because I see them in the I see them in the comment section. I see them on Twitter talking all that mad smack. That, what really gets you and grabs you is that if you say anything critical whatsoever, I mean, you could just say that their punter needs to wear deodorant and they lose all functioning function functionality of their bowels. I mean, they are like just shitting all over the Internet if they get one little critical remark, which tells me that they're not too sure of themselves. What happens? When Georgia gets down by 10, we don't know because it's not happened this year. What happens when Stetson Bennett has to lead a game-winning a game winning drive if it, if it comes to that? What happens? Let's just say this. The last time Stetson Bennett played Alabama, it was supposed to be a pretty good game. Both teams were ranked real high. And uh, basically, what happened, class? Do y'all remember? I sure do. <laughs> we won that game by double digits over the boy named Stetson that they say has reconciled himself to some degree and that we're finally going to pay the price. Alabama's finally going to pay the price. But you have that man over there named Nick Saban that has yet to lose to Kirby. Kirby seems to always pull some kind of craziness out of his ass every time he plays Nick Saban. He faked a punt on 4th and 11 when, with his backup quarterback, Justin Fields, and basically give Alabama half a football field to win a football game with Jalen Hurts. So what makes this so different? What makes you guys think that you have actually overcome the Alabama curse? Just because you're favored? That's actually a bad omen. When Alabama is a underdog and lots of times if they're a big underdog they tend to turn the tables not only do they win the game they win it by a couple of scores just go back in history get in your DeLorean with Marty and Doc and Back to the Future go back to 1992 versus the Miami Hurricanes the mighty Hurricanes were going for that what was it like two and three year championship or they was actually going for a repeat, and they would have been three out of four. The Miami dynasty, its coronation was going to be against Alabama in the Sugar Bowl. 
Alabama was like, I'm not, I might not be remembering this correctly, but Alabama was like almost a double digit underdog in that game, if I'm not mistaken. And what happened? They not only won the game, once again, they won the game, but not only did they win it, they won it by a couple of scores. So it's almost here, Georgia. This is your time. This is your time to prove everybody wrong and to finally break that Alabama curse. Because if you don't do it this year, just don't know if you're ever going to get it done. At least until Nick Saban retires. And that's all I got to say about that. And I do hear it. I hear it. Those hell's bells. Can Georgia silence those bells and finally win? a game against Alabama. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, KMCA to all the other teams.